about the morning. What are you doing here? I mean, God, how did you get into my house? I'm sorry. See, you did not lock your back door. That's where I passed. I don't want to disturb your sleep. Okay. So, what's the meaning of this? Girlfriend, can you imagine? Desmond, throw my bag outside. Shh. Could you bring down your voice? My husband is asleep upstairs. Do you want to wake him up? Sorry. Hey, see, I am I'm stranded. I'm stranded. I need the accommodation. Help me, please. <laughs> Wait. How can you be stranded or whatever you call it? You told me you stayed with your mother. Mm, me and my mommy, we had a fight and we have not set to it. So I was staying in this one house for some time. Sweetheart, listen, just trust me. This is the best time for you to go and settle whatever problems you have with your mother. Trust me. You can't expect for me to allow you to come into my home. For Christ's sake, I just came back into the country with my husband. We barely had any kind of privacy and you walk in here, you expected to let you stay? Of course not. Tabitha. This is just for two weeks. Listen to me. Trust me, you have enough friends in this city that can accommodate you for maybe a decade. But certainly not in my home. Please. I said no. Please, get out. I'm begging Before you. Before my house is out. Please. Get your things and get out. Now. Please, now. Get out. It's okay. Out. What's, what's the meaning of this? You don't need to spoil my bag. Don't go, 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 go. Can take your rubbish out of here. Can you just barge into somebody's home? What is the meaning of that? Wonder where I became your girlfriend. Shut my door, shut my door. Just get out. Stop pushing me. Go away. Why did you stay in your house for once? Had to barge in on people's privacy. What rubbish. Hi. What are you doing here? That is not the cocoa. Yes. Okay. Let me tell you my heart. Um, I am I am stranded and I want somewhere I can live. Are you out of your mind? You have the infantry, the shameless gods coming to my house to ask me for accommodation after what you did to me last night? Hey, hey, hey. it is not you that is to be angry here. It is me that is to be angry. Uh -uh. Have you forgotten what you did yesterday night to me? Have you? You are the one that make my boyfriend to. You are the one that make my fiance to throw my bag, my clothes. Like it's everything on the floor. I pack, 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 pack. One, two, three, four. I pack. Put in my bag. You are the one. He threw me out of his house. Pamela, as from today, henceforth, you are the one that will pro. That will give me eh, food and where to live. Eh? I'm going to kill you. Pamela, oh, yes. house. Pamela, please just calm down, okay? Let's talk this over. Wait, I'm not talking anything over. This lunatic, this good for nothing, non English speaking cat is going to get the hell out of my house right now. Pamela, Pamela. Please, 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 don't do this. Pamela, let's talk this over. Betty, Betty. you said me, I'm not speaking English. Yes. What Pamela. am I speaking? Eh? Pamela, you not English. Why did white man even chat this girl in the first place? Pamela. Why are you to be and. Please ask her to remove her legs from my leather seat. She is not my friend. The fact that we had something going on in secondary school does not make her my friend. You are like any other stranger I meet along the way. Pamela, what are you talking about? Yourself, Peggy and I were friends in GSS1. I'm sure if she had not dropped out, we would have still been friends. Well, thank God she dropped out. 12 years is a very long time. I don't know this woman. I can't vouch for you. I don't know if you have a HIV. Or if you're an armed robber, or you have some venereal disease whatsoever. Like, hell no, you are not staying in my house. Pamela, that's prejudging her. How come you didn't judge me before you brought me from the village to your house? Oh, don't compare to yourself to her. She's different. How? I say no. Okay, whatever. You can send her away after it's your house. Okay. One month. That is all you get to get your selfish, stinking self out of my house.
Where do you think you're going? It's not for you. You are going to stay downstairs. Elsie, can you please show this woman the way to the guest room? I don't want her anywhere near my things. If anything goes wrong, I'm going to blame you. You nowhere near my things. One month, that's all you get. This way. How did your white man even speak to you in the first place? You can't speak English. Don't go anywhere near my things. God, I hate that girl. She doesn't get to come upstairs. She stays down there. Please, my dear, could you help me read out the message? My sight is really getting worse. Uh, uh, What's the problem? Or are you also having problem with your sight? Let me help you, Dad. Let me help you. Don't tell me you can't read. No, Dad. Uh, actually, she didn't finish her secondary school. What? what? But that's my problem. I intend to send her back to school, even up to university. Believable. A good-looking young girl like you, a school dropout. By the way, tell me what class did you stop at? JSS one. Then you must be dumb school. Dad. Enough, Maxwell. Enough. I'm really disappointed in you. How could you bring in an illiterate into this family, a family of well-educated and accomplished professionals? You're not serious, Maxwell. You won't bring shame to this family. You are a medical doctor for God's sake. What's going on? What? Excuse me. Okay. Look at you. For close to a year now. I've tolerated you to see if you get a life. But you still won't change. What have I not done to take you back in school? To make a decent girl out of you? But no! You prefer to remain a secondary school dropout. Jumping from one man to another. You can't read, you can't write. You're not even ashamed of yourself. Hmm? What is happening to me? How long will they continue to treat me like because I did not go to school? that I will now become the wife of one person that is not educated. God forbid. I reject that in Jesus' name. If only I can read and write. Anyway, I can speak small and I'm classy. Carry myself well. That's enough to fill in the gap. Peggy. 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 I see how you do. I'm fine. Um, I'm sorry about your fiance. Uh, I know this is a difficult time for you right now. But I believe both of you can still work things out. He probably still loves you. Love. I see. A man loves a woman if he wants to marry her. This man does not want to marry me. Because I'm half educated. Do you know that for one year like this, I, I will be telling Desmond, take me to your family, take me to your family. He did not. Because he know that I will mm, embarrass him, dear. All these educated people, all these educated people, they will bring you down, spoil you, uh, irritate you, everything you want. You can't blame anybody for trying to elevate and upgrade their educational status. I know what I lost staying back in the village. That is why now I'm determined to go back to school, at least to pick up from where I left. It's not too late for you to do the same thing, you know. Eh? Go to school. Me. Hey, hey, hey. see your funny. When I was young, in school, my brain did not catch education. Is it now that I am old, my brain will catch education? It's not possible. And me? I don't have time for the wala. Go to school, learn, teach her everything. But, but what? Forget it, my friend. Forget it. 
At least I have class. Yes, the I am mighty account. And I know I am mighty people. What do I want again? I want this more now. This life will go off and together now. Elsie, can't you see I'm back? What in heavens are you discussing with this lunatic? Hmm. Elsie, what's wrong with your friend? That she's doing like bread and gege that enter water. Tell her that his face and mate, they always slap. Elsie, I'm like, man, back. Tell her that. This house, we go off and together. She cannot trust me. It's not possible. Mm -hmm. That big girl will be big girl together. Ah, oh, please take it easy. Mm, okay, okay, that that hurts me. Just take it one at a time. Okay. That uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you're trying already. Hi. I have warned you time without number to stop barging in on my privacy unannounced. Oh, are you so dumb that you can't even use the doorbell? Tabitha, I am sorry. Eh? I forgot. Look, you girls take too much for granted in this country. If you were a country like the US, or maybe some state in Europe, one could even shoot you dead before even realizes who you are. <sighs> but I say you should not be annoyed now. I'm sorry. Hi, sir. Hi. Tabitha, please let us see in camera. I don't see people in camera. And if you have something you think you want to say to me, you say it here or you forget it. Take it easy now. I just want to see you in camera. You are becoming too harsh these days, so. I take it to mean that you have nothing to say to me. I have something to say, but I have to tell you alone. Honey, I go and get the camera. Oh, sweetheart, it's not that kind of camera. But never mind, just go upstairs and wait for me. Okay? Okay, I'll go upstairs. I'll see you. Make it fast. Hey, it's very romantic. Oh. The way the two of, of you, you always uh, communicate, you know? It's romantic. I like it. Uh -uh. Why are you looking at me like this now? You cannot even offer me a drink. You are doing as if I'm in two days. Am I a Hitchuda? You know, Peggy, right now I'm, I'm really having problems trying to find out where to classify you. If you have something you think you want to say to me, you better say it quickly. I don't have any patience for you. Okay. See, get friend. You remember that day I came to pick you at the airport? You know I told you everything about me. See, I have been deceiving myself since all these days. That I will find one uh, classy, uh, educated bobo that will marry me. It's a lie. Uh, that's why I was wasting my time with Desmond. See, Tabitha, you have to help me. Help me, please. I don't see how I can transform your illiterate status overnight. It's not that. Uh, see, I want to re relocate. Yes, I want to relocate to somewhere that uh, they will not be saying uh, you have to have education or you have to be intelligent before you, you know. See, I want you to hook me, introduce me to one white Oibo Bobo. I prefer uh, Oibo that they do speak English in their country. Like uh, French, uh, Germany, Holland, Italy. Italo Bobo. Yes. Please, Tabitha, that's what I want you to do for me, my friend. Help me, help me. You've come to the wrong person. Peggy. I don't launder white men. Launder. And do you know something? I've also been doing my own thinking. And I've come to realize that it's, it belittles my marital status to have unprofitable single girls like you still hovering around me. Tabitha. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. But seriously, like you rightly pointed out, 
our social and educational status don't blend. So I suggest that you please get yourself out of my chair and get out of my house. I should go. Leave. Tabitha, <clears throat> I should go. I'm sure you're not also deaf. Because I find help from you. It's okay. Take back that insult. We are not girls, or do you see any spinster here? This salon is no longer open to spinsters, Pamela. As you can see, we are not just respectably married, but married to rich white men. <laughs> you just don't fit into the category. <laughs> this is a joke, yes? I mean, this is the very salon we have made my hair for years, and there's been no such nonsense as spins is not allowed. Since you chose to be daft, I'll make it clear to you. This place is no longer just a salon. We, the White Men's Wife League, has bought it over, and it's now a club that tends to only our members. Membership is simple, Pamela. If you still dream to continue making your hair here, so go and get yourself a white man for a husband. Girls, calm down. Okay, I mean, don't be so hard on her. She's a friend. <laughs> Look, I mean, talking down on people does not exactly give credit to our class, does it? Tabitha, that's all you're going to say? Uh, what rubbish is this? I wish I could say more, but Pam, my hands are tied. Okay, I mean, I think it's just the new rules around here or something, I don't know. Yeah. Your hands are tied indeed. I bet this is your idea. There's been no such stupid discrimination here up until you came back from the state. Then this dumb league of yours comes up. Oh, no more spinsters in here. Pamela, Pamela, why don't you just relax? I mean, you take things too much to heart. The salon will still be open to you to make your hair. That is, if you do the right thing. Hook yourself up with a husband and not just a husband, the right one. <laughs> Why, thank you very much for embarrassing me. Thank you very much. I think I should take a bow right now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, girls, that's not nice. That's not... <laughs> that wasn't fair. That was too much. Oh, oh, oh. What's that? Trash. Trash. Pamela, look at the time. When are you going to help me fill out the registration form? Eh? I mean, you've been chatting for two hours now. Relax, I'm going to help you do it. This one sounds kind of interesting. I'm coming. That's what you said yesterday. Yet you spent more than six hours chatting. I mean, we're practically dragged out for them to close down the office. Elsa, I need your encouragement on this. You know how Tabitha and her girls have humiliated me because of this issue. I want to prove to them that I too can get a white man of my own. Please, no. Even if it's the last thing I do in life. <sighs> Pamela, the registration is closing tomorrow. If I knew how to operate your computer, do you think I'll be disturbing you? 30 minutes, just give me 30 minutes, I'll be true now. Mm, they're like hunters searching for meat. White meat, there's babes are in heat. It doesn't matter where he comes from As long as he's white and has lots of money He could be young or old It really doesn't matter As long as he's white and available This babes are desperate for a whitey No black man stands a chance if you're black, nothing for you But if you're white, there's something for you 
In the world, white is right, but black is wrong. If you're black, nothing for you. If you're white, there's plenty for you. Desperate babes on the prowl in search of a white man. The white man, white man, the white man, the white man. In search of a whitey, mm -hmm. a whitey, whitey, a whitey, whitey. Oh. If you're black, nothing for you. But if you're white, there's something for you. In the world, white is right, but black is wrong. If you're black, nothing for you. If you're white, there's plenty for you. Desperate babes on the prowl in search of a white man. The white man. Madam, the man don't stop. Oh. Abina, here you go stop. No, follow him. Madam, we don't follow this man since morning. No. Your money don't increase. No worry, I go pay you. Follow him. But Madam, nobody say I don't want to follow this man. Oh. This thing is risky. How we go to follow somebody who we don't know? Oh. Yeah, follow him since See, morning. no risky. Eh? Now my fiancé, I just want to know a background before I marry him. Follow him. Ah. Uh, you, you have to pay me for the one where I don't follow him. How much? Morning. I want that. that is I go pay everything together. Follow him. If you're black, nothing for you But if you're white, there's something for you In the world, white is right, but black is wrong If you're black, nothing for you If you're white, there's plenty for you Desperate babes on the prowl In search of a white man The white man, white man, the white man, the white man In search of a whitey mm -hmm. A whitey, whitey, a whitey, whitey In search of a white man White man, in search of a whitey, mm -hmm. a whitey, whitey, a whitey, whitey. Hi. You remember me? I sure you remember me. After that sexy, romantic one night we had together, it will not leave your memory. Peggy, I don't like people budging in on me. I can't recall even giving you this address. I'm sorry. I don't mean to budge in on you. I just feel that we are friends now. I can come and pay you a visit. See, I have a surprise for you. What's that? It's African food, though. Our native soup, a foley roll and pan You will enjoy it. It's just my own style of saying, when you go welcome to our country, yo, we love you, yo, we are happy you come, yo. that is it, you will love it, I promise you. You are quite an interesting character. I've been in this country for two years, I never see a girl like you. Oh, that's why we are special. And where is your kitchen? Should you have plates there? Plates, spoon, fork, knife, everything. Food for you. Damn, no. That night is history. You can't throw her out. I see. You even brought love potion to charm my fiancé. You had him. Take your demonic concussion out of here before I pour hot water on you. Take it. Take it. Ah. Get out, get out. Get, get out. Go. 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 I warned you, Go. Peggy. Whatever I see, Go. you ask for it. Go. If you're black, nothing for you. If you're white, there's plenty for you. Desperate babes on the prowl in search of a white man. The white man, white man, the white man, the white man. In search of a whitey, mm -hmm. a whitey, whitey, a whitey, whitey. In search of a white man. The white man, white man, the white man, the white man. What is this? I didn't ask you to get me some beer. Yeah, cause you're this lady. Hello. Who is she? She's a bad girl. No. I'm not going to call you a bad girl. What is that? Hello. Excuse me, sir. 
show my entire nakedness to the world. God, that's demonic. <coughs> Supposing you get pregnant along the way, because I know a dog will not use condom. Are you supposed to give birth to half human, half a dog? What's wrong with you? Get out. Are you crazy? You're the one that will give birth to half human being half dog. What do you I mean? I am not the one desperate for a white man as a husband. <laughs> oh no, but Elsie, Elsie, look at me. No, check me and balance me. All I wanted from that fool was to have a serious relationship that could lead to marriage. And he just offered me a dog. <laughs> I don't suffer. <laughs> What's funny? I'm sorry. <laughs> what is it now? Nothing, nothing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Your white husband. <laughs> really? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Welcome back. Oh, sexy. Why didn't you call me to pick you up from the airport? <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to be there really soon. I'll just be looking fresh enough and I'm on your trail. I love you. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> you seem excited. That is an understatement. I am floating in ecstasy. He's around. Yes, come. Can you imagine this here? Who is around? My fiance. The one I've been chatting with on the net. Mm -hmm. Well, he just got back from London and he's lodging in a hotel already. Unfortunately, it's the same hotel that that bastard was asking me to come and do a pornographic movie for him was staying. But it's not a problem. After all, I have my own white husband. Just like that? So, all this while you've been chatting on the internet, somebody can actually get a husband from there. Boom, she can. You better begin to shine your eye. It's as if this village character doesn't want to leave your body. Before you know what's happening, experts go past you. But if you're interested, I could help you get a white husband on the net. <laughs> I still cannot get a grip on what the craze in getting married to a white man is all about. Hey. Hey. Before you know what's happening, all your mates will have gone international and they'll leave you behind. As for me, hey, we're presenting you, babes. Like this, like this, at the best. 
Tabitha and her peers can no longer flaunt their white husbands before me in mockery. Because I have my own. Babe, I'm robbers, they pay tight. I must pay tight. And they come. I don't hurry. I don't hurry. Hey, please. I want to see my bobo. Uh, you mean you're not aware? Aware? Of what? Oh, madam, I'm surprised. I mean, the way you both carried yourself romantically about in the hotel. I'm shocked that he didn't tell you. What are you saying? Hey, please. Me, I don't like... Uh, I don't like suspense, you. I'm not putting you in suspense. Mr. Wayne has gone back to his country, madam. I've heard him telling the cabman that came to pick him that his flight was for 10.30 this morning. And that's about 20 minutes ago. It's a lie. I just spoke with him 10 minutes ago. Well, oh, madam. This is the key to the room he just vacated. You want to go see for yourself? Hey! Ah! Give it to Ray. This is dupe. He's dupe. Did he take any money from you, madam? Money? Kule, yeah, you cannot understand. No worry. Please, I'm here to see Mr. Carter Welsh. He's British. He booked in this morning? Yes, yes. What's your business with him? How does that concern you? It's personal. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry into your private affair. But you see, it is our hotel's policy to look after the welfare of all our guests. Especially our foreign guests who might be vulnerable to scammers. You do understand, don't you? I want to see Kata Welsh. He's British. You obviously don't even know the person you came to see. Well, madam, that's Mr. Walsh. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Um, so, dear, I mean Kata Welsh. Mm-hmm. That's Mr. Walsh. Hey, that old man there. He's Carter Welsh. Madam, that is Mr. Carter Walsh. Hey, um, baby, please eh, check your check your diary again. Maybe somebody else checked in with the same name. That's Mr. Walsh. Carter Welsh. Yes. British. Carter Welsh. Hey. I imagine how surprised you are saying that I'm an old man. Actually, on October, I will be 73 years old. 72? Oh, God. How come you never said anything about your age? Experience, my dear. Most of the ladies take off when they hear about my age. But you... Your word was so passionate. I couldn't let you go so easily without having the chance to meet you. You? You are too old. You are just too old. Listen, Mr. Carter, I can't do this. I mean, I can't. I have to get going. I can't do this. I have a little proposal for you, Pamela. I'm a very wealthy man. I am worth over 250 million pounds. If you accept to marry me, you will inherit 
everything I own. 25% go to charity. 75%. Elsie, <laughs> you need to see this old man. The man is about 72 years old. <laughs> And see him clutching to his walking stick. He will drop dead the next moment. What kind of life I go? <laughs> What's fun? Why are you laughing? Internet romance. I've always had these feelings that there's something strange about such romantic connections. <laughs> My dear, even if I am so desperate for a white husband, check me now. Hmm? Babe, babe, balance me now. Eh? How can I end up with a 72 year old man? <laughs> when you want to touch me, go. What's in my feet? Let me one white house man. <laughs> My lucky deal. Are you Indian? Yes. See, I have this Indian food that I want to prepare. I saw it in Indian films, but say I don't know where to buy the ingredients, the food stuff to cook it. I see. You watch a lot of Indian movies. Yes. You like our culture, huh? I like Indian film, especially you know the way they dance inside the film. They sing. I always wish I have Indian boyfriend that will teach me how to dance. You want an Indian boyfriend? I always dream of India. If I have Indian friend, I don't mind. Hey, um, are you married? No, no, no. Our cultures are different. In India, it is the girls who propose to the men. And me, I'm not steady back home enough for any girl to propose to me. Okay. Hey, for the Indian food, can you help me? Sure. Why not? I can help you prepare it if you want. Wow, you can help me to prepare. Hey, that's very nice of you. Sorry, my name is Peggy. I'm Prakash. Prakash. Indian people, you will be tying gele, tying scarf gele, right? You don't have hair. Oh, you mean this? It's our culture. We like it. We have a lot of hair. You don't have hair. Okay, I show you. Ah! You have hair. You like it? It's very fine. Nice to meet you. This way, please. Hmm. Girlfriend, something happened today. Hmm. I met one Indiana Jones for the Temple of Doom. Indian Bobo. <laughs> and I followed him to his house and we ate Indian food. I thought you met him today. You followed him home. Huh? What's wrong with that? No biggie now. See, the Bobo is single. Girlfriend, honey, he said, Whitey, or you go for that matter. Get not to cool. What's still remain? I see. I will use my chance very well with that bobo. Um, I, 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 I invite him to come for lunch tomorrow. And who is it you are inviting into my house? I must remind you, Peggy, this house is not a social center. That means I do not want to see strange faces in my house. He's not a strange faces. Oh, shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth, Peggy. Let me warn you. Just to avoid any form of embarrassment, don't invite any strange face into my house. Besides, the word is strange face, not faces. Don't forget. That the one month grace I gave to you is expiring pretty soon. That means I will not give you half a day extra. Strange faces. Hmm. Essie, this is beefing you know? Ah, Essie, Pamela is beefing me. She's jealous. 
Yes, he's jealous of me. See, Pakash is coming to our house to eat lunch. I've already told you. Nothing I can do about it. Talk to her. Don't worry, I'll talk to her for you. So, well, ah, me. I had fun today, girlfriend. Mm. Mm. Easy, easy, please now. Why are you doing this to me? You have to help me. You are the last person, as in, I mean, you are the, um, you are the last hope I have in this uh, situation. Please, help me. I'm sorry, Peggy. I mean, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Peggy. I can't do it. Uh -uh. I've already tried in getting her to change her mind. Asking me to draw guys, just, you're going too far. I'm sorry. Okay. What do you want me to do? If you're in my shoes, what will you do? She's just sleeping in the room. She did not leave. Please. Hey, look at the time. Just two hours, Bere. We need two hours before my YT will come. I've not even started cooking. Cook. I've not started preparing the food. Please. 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 Look, Peggy, I don't want to get into any trouble. What if this drug ends up killing her? Hey! Hello, Maji. God forbid. God forbid bad thing. So, you can think that I will want to kill my friend. Pamela is my friend. Why will I want to kill her? The drug will only make her to sleep. Just six hours, six hours. She will wake up. You said six hours. I, I didn't say I would do it. I didn't say I would do oh, it. Please, no, of course. Too much, oh. Do you put it in your pocket when you go out? Garlic is good. Everybody in India eats garlic. Mm. It's like hair. It cleanses the system. Mm. Holy Krishna, you people here, you eat a lot of dosen. No good. Mm. Yeah, try some. Mm -mm. Koti, yeah. You never reach. Food is ready in the dining room. Come and eat. Let's see. Come and join us. I'm not hungry. I am. Um, I'll just step outside for fresh air. Come and eat now. Yeah. Ah, 
What is going on? I'm cleaning the house now. See? Dirty everywhere. Dust. Did they not teach you people how to keep the house clean? Eh? Just thank God I mean the house to clean the house. So. Hey, what is that smell? It's air freshener now. You do not hear the smell of air freshener. This is not the smell of air freshener. I perceive garlic. It's garlic I perceive. Uh, garlic. I'm perceiving garlic. Garlic. Uh, how can you smell garlic? Maybe you're not saying you have kata. I'll be cold. Your nose is bad. Go and see doctor. Ah, it's not good. Bele. It's air freshener. Go and see doctor. Eh? How much is the pepper? Okay, uh, put one portion for me. What about the tatashi? One portion. Sweetie, look at garlic. You know you love garlic. I get one for you. Look at Tabitha and her husband. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Oh, honey, look who we have here. Pamela. Elsie, how are you? I can't believe this. Bonjour, Jolie, madam. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Honestly, I never thought you'd be so comfortable shopping in an open market like this. Oh, no, no. Andrea is heavenly. He would go anywhere and do anything for me alone. <laughs> I'm actually trying to introduce him to some of our African delicacies and he is totally excited about it. Well, my dear friend, I think it's kind of awkward. I mean, him carrying the basket on his head like that in an open market. Tabitha, it's demeaning, don't you think? <laughs> no! Don't complain. It's an experience. Did you hear that? He's not complaining. He actually found... What did you call it again, Tony? Experience. He's an experience! <laughs> okay, girls, I will see you around. We'll still have some more shopping to do. Okay? See ya. Hey, baby. Okay. Let's go. I'm <laughs> sure you the of What? 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 Ah! We're not done with the shopping yet. Well, if you still want to shop, my dear friend, why don't you go back there and continue with shopping? What's this anger for? Seeing your girlfriend in the market with her husband? So you don't get it. That egocentric, good for nothing human being deliberately brought her husband here to mock me. Tabitha knows I love to shop in this market every Saturday. That's why she brought him here to flaunt him before me. Oh, to flaunt him before me. I cannot believe you're jealous of your own friend. Maybe. Listen, Elsie, that she's married to a white man gives her no right to taunt me with him. Gives her no right at all. My goodness, I cannot stand that. This might just be coincident. Just call it a chance meeting. Parala! Do you like it? Ah. It's nice. But why is a garlic smell you far too much in your room? But the city room is smelly and fresh now, very nice. No, 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 no. That is my living room. I will see visitors there. I know many people don't like garlic, so I keep it fresh. This is my room. I spend a lot of time here. Never mind, as long as we're together, you get used to it, okay? Now come, let me show you some Indian love. Sorry, my darling. It's my fault. I should have taught you a simple aerobic exercise. 
to help you deal with the smell. Okay? Now, come, squat like this. Slowly. Prakash, wait, I cannot do this. I have a headache. I want to be going to my house. That bad? Yes. Okay, I drop you. Ah, no, stay so that you can do your slowly. Let me be going. How could Tabitha become so changed towards me? We used to be so close. We did everything together right from our first year in the university. What? What's such a big deal in her introducing me to one of her white male friends? After all, she knows so many of them. Hey! <laughs> Hi Winston, how are you? Oh my god, but when did you return into the country? Wow. Okay, you know what? Let me call you right back. I have this very important call I need to take, okay? Alright, she goodbye. Yeah. Hello. Look. Are you serious? Oh, thank you very much. I got the Western Union. You are such a darling. Thank you. Oh my word. Oh my word. Look, I need to take this this call. Oh my god, just just hold on, hold on, hold on. God damn it. Hello? Hi, Enrique. Oh, bueno, femino. You know my Spanish is still very shaky. You know, I'm thinking, I probably have to take that Spanish class you told me about the next time I get into Spain. Yeah. <laughs> Ligo, bugo, whatever that means. <laughs> Sugar, I need to take this call. It's very important. It's from one of my, my um, employers. You know, let me call you right back. All right? Oh, God damn it. This white guys, I really don't know what they want from me. They won't just leave me alone. There are so many of them. Yeah, babes. Trust me, it's luck. I don't know what they want from me, but I guess we'll find out soon. Let's get down. Mm. You want to remain here? Yeah? What I don't understand is why she's so lucky. Everything seems to fall in place for her so easily. Uh -uh. Two white husbands at the same time. While I'm still here, looking for just one. Oh my god! What are you doing? What is that? I'll clean it. Oh my goodness! Choice, like how you clean it up. I distaste you so much. Clean it up. I will clean. I am set. Oh, I have a wonderful trip, Mr. Carter. Darling, where are you going? Pamela. Oh, my love. Don't tell me you're going to leave this country without me. I thought I will never see you again. You left me for one whole week. 
I gave up. I decided to go back home. I'm very sorry, darling. I'm really sorry. I... I just needed time to think about the whole thing properly. So? So? Yes. I'll marry you. Oh. Uh, I mean, I fell in love with the man I was chatting with online. Age is nothing but a number, right? Oh, Pamelia. You made me feel young. Come here. I love this man. <laughs> I love you. Well, I actually came here to persuade you to come stay at my place until we sort the whole thing out, okay? Great. Let the cab take us. All right, sexy. Let's go. <laughs> oh, easy, sexy, easy. That's my okay. This program is very interesting. You know, it's funny. Sorry, Baba. My name is Peggy. <laughs> Come on, sexy. Let me show you the way upstairs to my room. Come on, sexy. That's my man. That's my man. I <laughs> see this fever. The woman is shaking. And the daughter is saying, Say, say, say. Oh yeah, baby, come on. <laughs> I love you. That's my man. That's my man. That's my man. That's my man. Yes, baby, come on. Uh -uh. That's my man. That's my man. Let's see. The life don't finish. The life has got it up. That's finished. Mm. Uh, uh, Pamela, what's going on? Well, I've made up my mind to marry Kata. What? Come on. He's a white man. I stand to inherit 75% of 250 million pounds. Do you know how much that is? I can't believe this. <laughs> you better believe it. I am going to love that man till his dying days. <laughs> Why is she laughing? Ah, this program is funny. Oh. See this one girl, she's marrying one old man because of money. Yeah? <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, careful. Easy, easy. I really hate to be accused of talking down on somebody again. I love my Oh, they're here. Hi, hi, hi. I'm sorry to intrude, but um, who is the old man? Oh, of course, I pardon your intrusion. You must forgive my manners. I lost them today. <laughs> that is my husband to be. Your what? <laughs> Wait, is this a joke? Go oh, laugh if you think it is. Go on, laugh. Dear Lord. <laughs> Just shh, give me a minute. Stop my baby. <laughs> Ah, I mean, look at you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, can I have a word with you? Oh, oh sorry. Nothing. My baby waits. <laughs> right, sweetie? I'll just hold that for baby. <laughs> I love that man. <laughs> <laughs> Pamela. What kind of game are you up to? Listen, she seriously do not have to try to impress anybody, you know? 
Who said I was trying to impress anybody? Tabitha, that is the white man I am getting married to in a few weeks. <laughs> what, sorry? I'm sorry, but I just had to laugh. What did you say? That old thing? Well, my dear friend, I don't see his age. All I see is a rich, romantic, white man. <laughs> sorry, but I have to laugh again. <laughs> Excuse me, but... Did you just say romantic? Well, go on, Tabitha, go on. Laugh all you can. Go on, laugh. I am going to marry Kata Walsh. That's whether you laugh or you frown. Uh, what, what did you did you say his name is Kata Welsh? That's none of your business. Besides, do you know him? Of course I know him. Which girl moves out of this country the way I do or Move with the kind of circle that I do that would not know Kata Welsh. Of course he's a very popular person. He's actually one of the world's richest business tycoons. Oh my god, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. My luck. <laughs> they call him Mr. Lonely. Well, they won't have to call him Mr. Lonely anymore because I am here now to fill in his emotional vacuum. Pamela. Pam, look, you know you're my friend. I'm sorry, but I need to tell you the truth. You, you can't marry Kata Welsh. You can't go there. Why? Because he's a known murderer. It is known that he drove his first wife to suicide, then plotted the death of his only daughter because he was trying to cover up the death of his second wife. Everybody knows him to be a bloody psychopath. That is why no lady wants to marry him in spite of all the wealth he has. You are the son My God, you're so pathetic. How could you hate me this much? To even think you are my friend? You wouldn't connect me to any of your male white friends and yet you don't want me to get a white man for myself. Why? How could you be so terrible? Listen, just you? calm down, okay? You're getting this whole thing mixed up. Oh, shh. Don't ask me to calm down. You calm down. Oh, I see. You're jealous of me, right? Because my Kata Welsh is wealthier than both of your husbands combined, huh? <laughs> Shame on you. Baby, we need to go. Come on, my love. What's the problem you are here to do here? I just smell a very bad aura. What's that? Oh, come on, my love. I don't want you stressing yourself. Besides, I know that you can buy me a whole street of salon either in Trafalgar Square or any part of London I want just to make my hair, right? Alright. Now, come on, let's go. Why waste our time in this slum? <laughs> let's go, my love. That's London. <laughs> oh. That's London. <laughs> Old man for a fiance. He looks like one who's about to die in 10 seconds. Tabitha, that your friend is quite the character. Girls, that was Kata Walsh. Who? You heard me. The same one they say owns part of Heathrow Airport. Oh, Fina. What is it with you? I mean, how do you always pick the particles of your story from the wrong side of your ear? Whatever. Huh? How? How? What is wrong with this girl, even? Your India sweetheart is coming. Tell him I'm not in the house. Me, me, I can't stand that. What are you doing now? What are you doing? I'm not going to be like a person for you. Darling, I haven't seen you in days. Your phone is off. I travel. I just come back today. In fact, I'm going out again now. Holy Krishna, you going like this? No proper clothes on. Hey, it's uh, me. I'm in a hurry. I cannot change another dress. Okay, okay. I drop you. Hey, no! Don't worry. Sorry. Okay, I wait. Ah! You cannot wait, so. If I go now, I will come late in the night. Tomorrow morning, I travel to my village one month. You can't wait. Bye-bye. Mm, there 
like hunters searching for meat White meat, there's bitter and heat It doesn't matter where he comes from As long as he's white and has lots of money He could be young or old It really doesn't matter As long as he's white and available this babes are desperate for a whitey No black man stands a chance oh. If you're black, nothing for you But if you're white, there's something for you In the world, white is right, but black is wrong If you're black, nothing for you If you're white, there's plenty for you Desperate babes on the prowl In search of a white man White man in search of a whitey, mm -hmm. a whitey, whitey, a whitey, whitey. Uh, some of them are desperate. Ooh, so desperate.